Hey everyone, Derealist here, and we are at a Spirit Halloween in Torrington, Connecticut. This is our first official store tour of the 2024 Halloween season. So, without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> Here we go. Got a small ISC set up here. I want to look at this more though because I didn't really see it at flagship. This is really cool how they have the animatronics. I wish they sold these as like posters or something. Here we got our boy Cotton Candy Dan. Maybe this time I can actually hear his music. Yum yum yum! Sometimes it's sweet, sometimes it's not. <laughs> Whoop, that's covering it. One thing I'll tell you though. Definitely one of my favorites of the season. He is out. awesome. <laughs> and right by him, we have Max Draw, which Max Draw is also one of my favorites. Um, I don't think he is set up properly, however. He looks bent, so I'll see if he can be turned on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> he looks really cool. And we have the scary sitting scarecrow, which should be on. I haven't seen this thing in person yet. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Oh, it looks like that Mac is broken. Yeah, that's definitely going in a fails video. And then here we have the Wheel of Fate that I did see at Flagship. So we're going to spin the wheel real quick and see what we get. This one doesn't have the thing at the top. Yeah, <laughs> look at that thing. It's not really... Okay, let's see. Yeah, these things are going to take a while because this is not... This doesn't have the thing at the top. Let's see. Don't give me spin again. It already took so long. Okay. Ooh, yes. All right, let's start checking out some of the Halloween decor here. We've got a nice stock of jumping spiders here. I am waiting to get a gray jumping spider. Um, it seems like they don't have one here. In terms of animatronics in stock, we don't have a lot, but there is a pretty nice selection. We've got a Nibbles here, which I didn't see his box at flagship. We have a Straw Man. We have Nozzles. We have Gravestone Ghoul. Two stilts. We have a Static Ghost Face. And we have a Demonic Gatekeeper here. We have another Gravestone Ghoul as well. Man's Possessed Friend. Again, not much at this store, but the things that they do have, it's a pretty nice selection. Alright, let's check out the masks. We've got quite a nice selection of masks this year. We've got some saw masks. Always nice to see the mask. Um, ooh, this Art the Clown mask. This is honestly pretty cool looking, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, here's a better look at it. Dang, that's actually really cool. As you guys might know, Terrifier is now one of my favorite movies. It's really cool. Um, we've got a Frankenstein's monster mask, which this looks pretty neat. Um, it seems to have the little Frankenstein thing that the Home Depot's box has, so that's nice. We got a Halloween 2 Michael Myers mask here. We've got I don't remember what that is. Is that Jeff the Killer? I think so. We've got some Haunted Mansion plastic masks. We've got Ezra and Phineas up there. We got some Star Wars masks. For anyone interested in it. These masks are really impressive, honestly. I love seeing all these nice masks. Like, look at the Freddy Krueger. This is an awesome mask. And then the Chewbacca mask. These are all sick. We've got the Laughing Jack mask. We've got the Leatherface Pretty Woman mask here from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, I haven't seen this movie yet. Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Um... I don't know if I should watch it or not. Maybe it ruined the original for me. And then we've got this mask. Honestly, what if this were like an animatronic? That would be pretty fun. And then we've got all the weapons and stuff here. We've got axes. We've got that is a comically large knife. And what is that? Is that like the wrench? These weapons are all so giant for no reason. Here are all the tombstones. Now, we do have some new tombstones this year, and I really like them. So, this has been a meme lately. I've got a... 
Here, this is the return to sender tombstone. <laughs> it's so funny for no reason. But it's a neat looking tombstone, especially for the price. I might have to grab one. It's really cool. And then we've got some of the other classic tombstones Spirit has been carrying. I believe that Reaper one up there was from last season. And then we have this nice little glowing tombstone with the candles. Some really nice cemetery stuff from Spirit this year. And here we have the haunted dolls, which I haven't seen the new ones for this year yet. Looks like the pumpkin Nestor doll is back. Always nice to see Nestor. And we have the new ones for this year, we have Matchstick Molly, no, Mary, Matchstick Mary. This is an interesting one to say the least. Interesting doll. And then Penelope Pigtails, which this one is weird. Yeah, the new dolls for this year, I'm honestly not a huge fan of them. But here we've got all the fleeces, and these are honestly really cool. We've got the Universal Monsters, which looks awesome. Frankenstein. And we've got the Nightcrawler fleece, which I'm surprised they still sell these. Also the Crouchy one, too. I barely see those anywhere. It doesn't seem they have the Jack the Reaper one, though. So interesting and then here we've got some spiders and stuff we've got a dropping spider which honestly i might need to get one of these how much are they um twenty dollars hmm i'll think about it but we've got some really neat spiders here this year i don't think we've got any new ones it's mainly just the classic stuff but we do have a lot of these latex animals here we've got this cat which honestly i've always liked the cat it's looked really cool and this, I think, is new for this year, the zombie squirrel. It's pretty cool, honestly. Could be nice in a forest haunt or something. And then we've got these little rats here, which I never knew they sold these. These look kind of cheap for spirit standards. And then we've got these rats here, which have been a classic. Looks really nice. And then I believe this was from last year or the year before this is scabs the zombie dog but yeah pretty nice selection of the zombie animals this year and then here we've got some random home decor stuff so it seems like they have the spirit monopoly this year these were hard to find last year so it's really nice to be seeing those in stores and we've got the beetlejuice tombstone which honestly that looks really cool the here lies beetlejuice lights up on it it's really neat and it is plastic we've got the beetlejuice sign which does light up too um it's not working but this is super cool then we've got a sandworm greeter here and just ooh, corpse bride stuff okay i love corpse bride um this i don't think is new it's like a light up sign i'm not gonna well, maybe i will i can't really stand it up anywhere though okay no that doesn't work anyway but really cool and then we've got the lydia deet sidesteppers here which i think you press her foot to get her going um there we go these are always funny to me like <laughs> look at the design it's so cartoony and then down here if anyone cares about these we've got some little cups here which honestly this thing looks crazy then we've got all the skeleton decorations here we've got the skeleton bats wow they had some fun putting these things up on the shelves and we've got the skull stacks here which honestly i really like those not gonna lie they look great we've got a bunch of Life-size skeletons, pumpkin skeletons, alien skeletons. We've got tons of skeletons here for literally any theme. Up there, we've got some of the shark skeletons from a few years ago. Or no, are they alligator or shark skeletons? I'm not sure. Here's one of them. And here we've got some pathway markers, which these, I never really noticed these, but they're pretty cool, not gonna lie. Is that a gargoyle skeleton? I've never seen that. That looks uncanny, honestly. And then we've got some jack-o'-lantern pathway markers. Always neat with the pathway markers and stuff. We've got a dropping mechanism over here. We've got some of the new step pads from last year. These have 
updated technology so they are more sensitive and they can detect motion better than the older step pads we have some of the clown toe tappers from 2020 which is kind of crazy to see these left over yeah those are interesting up there we do have some of the monster hands which i'm not going to be able to reach and we have a few ghost swings up there we've got two of them up there we've got an empty soul girl on a swing as well we've got some of the candelabras up there or down there i should say and we've got the crimson girl on a swing here over here we've got a bunch of severed limbs always nice to see we've got the pig head we've got this guy with a hook in his eye which this is really awesome looking i do like that a lot and we have the hanging hands and feet here and oh i never noticed these these are like corpse skeletons and whatnot they have little like grass things on them those look really cool got the flying ghosts here always a classic to see and we've got the multi-prop remotes honestly i need to get some of those and they do still have these animatronics which is from 2022 and 2023 all right we made a tradition last year, and every time I went to a spirit, I haunt one of these, so... <laughs> that was a weird sound and haunt. But here's all the killer clown stuff. We have a Hugs the Clown costume. Still surprised they haven't returned him yet. I'm waiting, spirit. Alright, some of the sweatshirts we got here. I've never seen this. This is like a glittery spirit, like, sweatshirt thing. Hoodie. No, it's a sweater. Yeah, I've never seen that before. That's interesting. And we've got the spirit sweatshirts here. Um, we don't have the Art the Clown spirit shirt. I might have to get that at some point. But the new shirts this year are really cool. We've got some Terrifier shirts. We've got Chucky, Tiffany shirts. But I really want to see if I can find this shirt this year. It's really cool looking. Terrifier stuff here. This shirt looks awesome might have to cop at some point and they've got the sunflower glasses as well we've got an art the clown knife here too which oh it's double-sided too i wonder who collects these knives the ghost face mask we've got a chrome mask we've got the age mask from screen six we've got the scary movie ghost face mask the dead by daylight mask and i think this is the classic oh no it's a glow in the dark mask interesting and it looks like they're bringing these things back every year. We've got the little skelly bones, the Crouchy, the Sam, ghost face here. And we've got some Beetlejuice ones and Annabelle there. So that's Adam from Beetlejuice. And we've got the teddy bear from Nightmare Before Christmas. So they're bringing the plushies back. And while I'm here, I did bring some stickers. So I'm going to put some in the Scary Sitting Scarecrow's candy bucket right here, just in case. All right, we don't have much more to check out here, but we do have some of these little keychain things, as well as some of the lanyards. We've got a Spirit Halloween lanyard right there. I wonder if they'll do lanyards of like the animatronics and stuff. That would be cool. And then here, we've got the new 2024 animatronic bag clips so here we got monty harry hustle the butcher the widow peekaboo clown lord raven gordo um night stalker and pumpkin patch prowler so pretty nice collection and here we have these are interesting i don't really know what these are these are just ghosts and we've got a bat jack-o-lantern skull ghost monster witch dog and cat so pretty interesting i've never seen those before and that was really it for the spirit halloween in torrington connecticut thank you all so much for watching stay tuned for more store tours during the season and this is the realist signing off